I am grateful to be, have been loved and to be loved now and to be able to love because that liberates. Love liberates. It doesn't just hold. That's ego. Love liberates. My mother, when she was in her final sickness, I went out to San Francisco. And the doctor said she had three, three weeks to live. I asked her, would you come to North Carolina? She said, yes. She had emphysema and lung cancer. I brought her to my home. She lived for a year and a half. And when she was finally, finally, in extremis, she was on oxygen and fighting cancer for her life. And I remembered her liberating me. And I said, I hope I'll be able to liberate her. So in her last days, I said, now, I understand that some people need permission to go. You may have done what God put you here to do. You were a great worker. You must have been a great uh, lover because a lot of men, and if I'm not wrong, maybe a couple of women, risk their lives to love you. You were a piss poor mother of small children, but you were a great, great mother of young adults. And if you need permission to go, I liberate you. I went back to my house and something said, go back. I was in my pajamas. I jumped in my car and ran. And the nurse said, she's just gone. You see, love liberates. It doesn't bind. Love says, I love you. I love you if you're in China. I love you if you're across town. I love you if you're in Harlem. I love you. I would like to be near you. I'd like to have your arms around me. I'd like to hear your voice in my ear. But that's not possible now, so I love you. Go. Cool.